Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Excuse me, this is your monthly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Please continue to do so. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. Let's get into it, Cancer. Thank you, God, for blessing Cancer with a clear, concise message from you. All right, Cancer, let's see how you're coming into the month, the month of April. Springtime, the Will of Fortune. Very nice. Change, significant change, maybe around your social group settings. You're meeting new people, maybe making new friends. You also could be changing your mind around something. Like things are lining up for you to take action with the Wheel of Fortune here. It's like perfect timing, divine timing. It's time for something to happen, for significant change, uh, for something to end and then something to begin here. It says fortune is on your side. You can expect increase, abundance, a yes answer. If you're inquiring about a particular person, yes, this is a soulmate. It's for you to figure out what kind of soulmate they are. But yes, this is a soulmate here. You will have some chance meeting or opportunity to see this person again. If there is separation, your psychic abilities or just your intuition could be heightened at this time or someone around you, their intuition is heightened. Let's see what else is going on for cancer here. Clarify. The will of fortune clarify the will of fortune the six of pentacles so yes money's coming in money's coming in it's going out there's a balance there's harmony within your finances there is an equal give and take in relationships if you are in a relationship you could be dealing with the sagittarius a piscean person someone could you could be showing someone your affection your attention by way of gifts trips doing you know things for this person or vice versa this is what they're doing for you let's see what else is going on here for a cancer this the six of pentacles talks about a power dynamic maybe you're understanding your role in the relationship let's see two of cups so yeah you're understanding that maybe um this feels like you you're not with somebody okay and you could be waiting for them to reach out or they're waiting for you to reach out what's here yep the can uh chariot card this is you it's like you're trying to maintain your focus maintain control by not showing emotion focusing on career or family anything but relationships and love here it's like you're trying to move forward that very self-directed self-focused energy it's like, I don't want to give anything to love because I might actually fall in love. I don't know. It's like some of you are changing your mind about someone or you want to go back to this person. It's like you want to have the upper hand, though, when you come back. I don't know if you need money, you need resources or someone else needs this around you or money's getting low or it's just, you know, it's just enough or it's not a surplus of money. You just you have enough to maintain yourself. The Two of Cups says that maybe you're looking for some type of partnership or contract to come in. You also could be wanting to reconcile with a particular person here, maybe a masculine energy with the Wheel of Fortune, or this is what, yeah. And the masculine energy could be, you know, a woman too. The Three of Wands, you could be far from someone. It's like you're waiting for them to reach out or you're waiting for the perfect timing for you to reach out. Yeah, Nine of Cups, like, I don't know this it just reads as if there's separation between you and somebody significant it's like now you feel like this person has the power because maybe they walked away from you or they're not talking to you or they built up the boundary or the wall and now you have to kind of tear it down so they have the power now because maybe you're waiting for them or you're chasing after them or you're asking for their time or vice versa. This could be vice versa. Now someone feels like you have the power of cancer. It looks like you and this person that y'all want reconciliation, but nobody's making a move because of ego, because of, um, again, not wanting to give in. Um, very self-centered, very self, 
directed focus again ego pride but it's like you both are wishing to be together with the nine of cups here and wishing for that special time what is the advice for cancer here what's the advice for cancer the six of wands okay so success is here um the six of wands maybe choose yourself bet on yourself there will be help that comes your way. You're going to get recognition. Seven. Oh, so you may have a lot of people maybe vying for your affection, your attention. The six of wands and the seven of, of cups. It's like you have options. You need to make a choice here. You're not sure of who to choose. There's also a lot of wishful thinking about a particular relationship, marriage, business, whatever. It could be you know, all of those things. But it's not a lot of action. It's just a lot of daydreaming and, and thinking about the shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Um, thinking about where a relationship could go, how you could make a proposal to someone, and where, where, you know, this could go. Again, a lot of dreaming, a lot of dreamy energy, but no action, procrastination. This, even, this also could be like indulging just overindulging food drink sex anything that takes your mind off of making a decision it's like the advice here is six of wands there could be a leo here who's trying to persuade you to come back they'll say anything to you the nine of swords it's like you fear that something is completely over or this is the beginning of the end the Nine of Swords, you have gone through that dark night of the soul. Maybe you have, you're have you replaying, rethinking an event, a conversation, something that happened. It wasn't positive. It's a negative event that happened. And maybe you're replaying it. Something happened and it's got you in a place of unrest. You could be a night shift worker. You're not sleeping well. Or you, you get up, yeah, you're up really late at night. Then you have to wake up really early. Or you're up really late at night you're sleeping late towards the next day there's a lot of unrest here yeah perspective so this is definitely somebody thinking about the part that they played in the breakdown of a relationship a marriage a connection it's like somebody's in a place of introspection and uh, reflection here like oh you know when I did that or when I said that that might have contributed to the breakdown in communication or the, just the breakdown of the relationship it's like somebody's in that holding place where they have to really look at themselves it could be you cancer it could be another person what is the outcome here the advice is rest on your principles your morals make choices that are good for you um You've got a lot of options here, but all of them are not good. You need to choose wisely. Stop procrastinating. Some of you need to work out or get more fit or look into fitness. You need to be healthier. Because there's a lot of overindulging. All right, so the advice, I mean, the outcome, four ones. So you could have a successful completion to a project, project that is you. You could have a new home, a new relationship, reunion. Maybe you'll have, a, well, again, a new circle of friends coming up. Four of pentacles. So you got four, four. So 44 could be significant. You could be 44. There will be celebration. Like that you're going to come back together with somebody or something here. Or something, something that you've been pounding at maybe again with the three of wands in the background you were waiting for somebody to reach out waiting for someone to communicate to express to socialize with you and it looks like it will happen um with the four of pentacles stability i don't know what is this the hermit card and the the fool You might deal with some deep-seated issues once you come out of this dark night of the soul, this introspective place here. And then you can maybe reconcile with a feminine energy with the four wands here. 
you've been holding on to this person, deep seated issues, reconciliation, deep seated issues, change or transition in personality and something new developing. So it looks like somebody here is really going through just like, this looks like maturity, trying to grow up, you know, coming out of being clingy, selfish, possessive, demanding, domineering, dealing with those deep seated issues and looking at, again, introspection, not looking for validation outside of yourself, understanding that the answer is truly within you. And now something new can develop for you, maybe with inner connection, but something new develops in your life. It's like you get a, another chance, a do over, a new start, the zero. This is like some of you needed to change your life completely. Your group of friends. Yeah, you need to cut out all that doesn't serve you. All that does it is not going to get you your desired outcome. You know, write that down on a piece of paper. What is my desired outcome, especially in love and romance? And then determine if what you're doing right now is going to get you that desired outcome. And you'll start to realize that some things might need to be cut out. What is this about? A year from now. Yeah, it looks like some of you are really going to be changed. Yeah, reconsider. It's like maybe, again, we got reconciliation. We've got someone wanting to come back or you wanting to go back. Peaceful resolution. Like you and this person will find resolve here. So resolve. So it's something that's going to, you just like a redo because you solved something. So it's like you guys are going to um, start something over. Yeah, get more information. Something you don't know about. Don't make a decision just now. Get more information here. You have a definite no answer. I'm going to clarify that really quickly for you. What is this definite no? What is the definitive no for cancer? Wow, the queen of swords here. Um, Somebody wants the truth, nothing but the truth. Get more information. I don't know if you're going to try to come to someone with lies or they're going to try to come to you with lies. If they do that, it's going to be a definite no here. The Queen of Swords is all about, okay, I'll give you the opportunity to talk to me. But as soon as I kind of, I hear a lie, it sounds like a lie, then I'm cutting this off. I, I don't have time for it. For she is about making executive decisions. So she's the final say so. She understands that, okay, I want newness in my life. I've been through trials, tribulation. It's brought me to awareness, to uh, wisdom. It's brought me to spirituality for some of you. And I don't have time for games and drama anymore. Therefore, if I'm met with it, I will cut you off. You could be dealing with a person like this, or this is you. Or this is the energy that you're going to take on, especially when you are met with someone who wants to maybe tell you half truths, falsehood, just create this narrative, this dynamic. It's like you're going to swiftly be met with that or you're going to meet someone with that type of energy and you have no problem cutting them off because she understands that it's not valuable to keep a person like this around it doesn't add to anything and nor does she add to them because it's two different mindsets so it looks like if you are met with adversity if you're met with something that is completely contrary to what it is you say you want your end game your end goal here then you're going to have to get real firm and cut this off because somebody is wanting a second chance, a second try. It could be you. It could be someone else. We got fixed energy here. No, that's not fixed energy. We got Virgo showing up with the Queen of Swords. We've got Gemini. Um, some relationship is kind of like cyclical. You guys go in cycles. It's good. It's bad. It's hot. It's cold. It's off. It's on. And maybe somebody's wanting to come out of wanting to come out of the merry-go-round and they want something real and that's the queen of swords could be you could be someone else you're dealing with where are we 14 minutes jeez sorry let's see career and finance first card that came out okay pivot tune into what feels good so you may have to shift your focus 
shift your plans, you're gonna have to pivot. So you're gonna have to like maneuver, move something around. What you thought was gonna happen for you in your career and finance, you might have to tweak it just a bit, or you might have to kind of put something else in or shift or move something around here. This, either, this could even be you transferring money from one account to the next, or maybe you have to put uh, something off. Get crystal clear, okay? Uh, get 333 three, three showing up. So answer prayers, okay? Uh, maybe it's a, it's not a no, but it's just not right now. Um, answer prayers crystal clear. Maybe you're, you're seeing something crystal clear within your career and finance. Maybe that you're going to have to pivot, change, move, shake, um, you know, kind of look at something differently. You're going to have to, whatever the timeline was or the agenda is, you're going to have to kind of be flexible with this and um, go and roll with the punches here i'll go with the flow last card for career and finance whoa okay okay soulmate client all right so you have the ability to bring in those clients that clientele um that you are uh wishing and hoping for okay some of you need to start a business or you're wanting to start a business or you need to put more motivation behind it okay be grateful for what you have be grateful for where you are you have accomplished a lot don't beat yourself up too much soulmate clients your dream clients are in your heart it's time to start to manifest them okay if you want to do something if you offer a service a product do know that someone will uh, pay money for that will give you something of value for what you have of value in exchange your soulmate clients are out there start to let that be your prayer Thank you for more clientele. Thank you for this. Thank you for that. You know, uh, bring in that energy. So that's what I have for you. If it resonates, let me know how it resonates for you. Go over to the website, book there. Ask a question or two by texting the question to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.